Hi, and welcome to Moonride. This is Dave Johnson, and I am channeling the man in the moon today. I'm going to take a look at the Supreme Court. I want to know uh, about Justice Breyer's uh, potential replacement, but uh, I also want to know uh, about the court in general. Uh, I'm just very concerned about the Supreme Court, as um, likely you are. So let's just first tune in to the uh, Justice Breyer situation. Okay, this looks like it's going pretty well, right? And I'm not really interested in uh, today in, in what the Supreme Court individual think or believe, but um, this looks, you know, Justice Breyer's kind of smiling and a black lady looking pretty young has shown up, right? Um, hmm. Let's see, she is, and she looks pretty young. Um, I can't, uh, I can't tell exactly how old she is, but she looks, you know, under 40. She seems to have curly hair. This might just be a symbolic person, but they're both smiling. So I'm feeling pretty confident that this is gonna go well. Um, and I feel confident and kind of happy that this has come up, that he is retiring and that uh, Biden is going to get a chance to choose someone. I think a lot of um, African Americans have lost a lot of faith in Biden because they really haven't gotten anything out of his election. But this seems to at least uh, respond to them. Um, I, for one, have I don't understand why um, Harriet Tubman isn't on the five dollar bill or the one dollar bill or the twenty dollar bill. It seems to me that's something that Biden could take care of, but it is not being done. I don't know why. Uh, keep in mind, I, as I tune into Biden a little bit here, it's complicated. It's really, 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 really hard to be president right now. So uh, everything is just constantly uh, a battle. There's just almost nothing you can do. This doesn't excuse it, but that's the... Uh, that's what I feel from him. That this is something that he can do, which is a positive. And the Supreme Court in general, let's take a look. Uh, Amy Cohen Barrett's raging, you know, as usual, she always does that. So is this, is this Supreme Court gonna change in the next couple of years? That's what I wanna know. So Spirit, what's gonna happen with that court? Some, there's two members, something's coming down with two of the members. I get, I do get the feeling there's something with Amy Conan Barrett. Just, um, she turns to me and I mean, like literally she's got fangs. So I, maybe there's just dark information about her that we didn't know until now, or what's going on with her. Actually, the other one I see is Gorsuch. I thought, like, if anybody would have any anything to hide, it would be Kavanaugh. But Gorsuch is looking very cagey, very sneaky. There's something he doesn't want people to know. That's my first feeling with him. The two, both of those people, there's something that they don't want us to know. I get uh, Conan Barrett actively hiding something. Hmm. She's hiding something. It's just, what is she hide? What is Conan Barrett hiding? She shows me a knife. So I'll just show you. So there's like a domestic scene where she's like washing the dishes or something very simple. And then she shows me a knife. So it's like under this facade of normalcy, there's something very, I don't know. I mean, it could just be she is divisive, but I get the feeling that there's something else. Spirit, is there anything that's going to undermine 
people who are serving on the Republican side of the Supreme Court? Is there anything that's going to undermine them? Well, uh, key, one thing that's important to notice is that the American public doesn't want a minority court. So to some degree, um, they are going to react uh, politically. So the political reaction will be to, uh, you know, put more Democrats perhaps on the, on, in Congress. They're not liking uh, what's, what's happening in the Supreme Court. And it doesn't seem just. Else is going on there. Yeah, um, Kavanaugh has shown up with a like long like rapier, that kind of uh, sword fight sword, thin one. But, but strangely, it seems like he turns it in upon himself. He does something self destructive. Yeah, again, it looks very self-destructive, like he's harming himself almost. I, I would say that Kavanaugh is you know, just as, you know, we suspected of very, um, seems very much out of balance. There are many, many things to tell about him. People we want to look out for are um, forsooth. Will they be compelled to leave early? Will anyone be compelled to leave early? Briar's leaving early, obviously, but who else? I actually get Corsu first. And um, Amy second. I'm not getting a clear date on any of these, but at this half, good spirit, is anybody leaving? In the next few years, other than Briar. Gorsuth comes up. Again, he's looking very evasive, mysterious. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the message that I'm getting. I, I'm not sure it's really fair to say right now who will be leaving when. But um, understand that while this is a terrible thing, the Supreme Court is truly undermining the rule of law. This is not helping their cause. All it is is exposing their cause for what it is. And American people <clears throat> are going to have a reaction to this. There will be a lot of negative things and already have as a result of the Supreme Court. All right. Is there anything else we can know about this Supreme Court? There's like a four or five split now that I'm seeing. Hmm. What else can we know? The Supreme Court really is going to galvanize the resistance to the Republican Party. Um, they're very much exposing themselves as a, a not just group of people. The uh, really important things like prosecuting Trump, uh, that's something that they cannot really affect. They cannot um, stop the Justice Department from prosecuting. So this is a bad situation, which we must change. <clears throat> but just like Trump, he reminds us that that situation already existed. Uh, the Supreme Court has been um, relatively aloof from the needs of the American people, stopped the right you know, for many people to vote, et cetera. There's a lot of things that they were already doing before this. Although I have to say, you know, this is a huge leap in the negative direction. 
And uh, it is just exposing the Republican Party for its un lack of democracy. You know, this is what is going to uh, really actually shift a lot of votes for America. The Supreme Court is really harvesting votes for uh, the left. This doesn't mean we gotta stop fighting it. We need to, and I think that we will, but the components of how that works Thanks so much for watching.